Okay. So here, here we are. I'm going to do some screencasts of the process of setting up your project in uh, your uh, digital audio workstation, in this case, Audition. And uh, the process is the same, whether I'm going from Final Cut Pro or Premiere um, or Avid um, into whatever package I want to. I mean, this is the process that you follow. So the first step is we're in our um, editing package and we're going to you know, get it out of here so we can get it into something else. And the process is you know, really exactly the same. We export an OMF file first. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, what I do is, here I am, this is my edit. I want to highlight my timeline, make sure I don't have a clip selected. I want just, just uh, the, uh, uh, the entire timeline selected so that when I hit export, I'm exporting the whole thing. Um, I go down to export and I select OMF. And what I'll do is I'll give it a, you know, a useful name. In this case, it's just a scene. So we'll just say exterior uh, widow maker and uh, OMF export. Okay, that sounds good enough to me. Make sure that we've selected the proper sample rate and bit depth. This is the sample rate and bit depth of our project. My guess is it's automatically selected um, what we want to work with. Now it gives you an option for a really high sample rate. Um, we're not going to mess with that. And or a higher bit depth. We could choose 24 bit if we want to work in 24 bit. Um, but the thing is, we didn't record in 24 bit, so we don't need we don't need to select that. We're not going to gain anything by turning our 16 bit into 24 bit. Now, if we recorded in 24 bit, then we'd want to make sure we stay in 24 bit because we're going to get higher resolution there. Format AIF AIFF files. Um, these are a, a I think it's called a BWF file. These are really great sound files. It's like a WAV file, except it has lots of metadata in it. We'll talk about it another time, but for now we'll just choose AIFF and um, render a, com a copy complete audio files. You know, we did this in class, and I never we never really explored this. Um, I said you can either copy the complete audio file with each of those, or select trim audio files and put handles before and after these little edit points instead of including this entire sound file. Well, you know, we selected this in class and sure enough, I did drag some of those around on, on the computer and it, 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 it gave one second handles anyway. It, it didn't copy the whole file. So this, this is lying to us. It's a liar. Uh, so I think if we wanted more than one second, we'd have to select trim audio files and, and enter something like, you know, how about 48 frames? This is shot in 24p, so 48 frames is two seconds. And then we hit OK. Now I'm not going to hit OK because I've already done this. Um, but I hit OK, and it's going to, well, I'll hit OK. What, what the heck? So it gives me a place to s save it. And uh, let's see, where do I want to save it? You know, pick a folder. Let's see, audio post. And here and you know this is my week three and so you know I would just say okay I'd say there and I hit save and it's just going to render it out and save save the OMF file okay fantastic we exported the OMF file but that's not the only thing we have to do we need to export a reference video and audio now that means I'm going to export a movie of this entire thing and it's going to include the video and the audio and this is all the audio is going to just be mixed down you know just like we've worked with it on timeline so if I've done some you know audio adjustment stuff or I've changed my levels or added some cross dissolves you know if I did some manipulating of the audio here to go with my edit which you know as an editor you might you know I very well find very handy uh, when you do your edit, to, you know, kind of help things along and set things up. Um, when I export the OMF, none of that stuff comes across. I just get the I just get the cuts in the audio for the most part. Um, 
it, Premier doesn't really give you options for including any of that metadata, volume, pan, cross dissolves, anything like that. Uh, Final Cut Pro does give you those options, even though I would suggest not using them in that case either. But I do want to, you know, have a reference of what was done in the edit when I get into my audio package so that I can hear it. I can hear what choices the editor was making and, and emulate them if I feel like that's the best choice. Um, and also to check sync. That's, that's the big one. I need to make sure that I'm in sync with the image and I match up my OMF edit with a, some sort of reference audio so that I know. Now, see, when the, these two things I know are in sync. When I export the movie, they're going to be in sync. When I bring them into my package, they'll be in sync. And then everything else, I want to sync to this. So once again, in order to export, I'm going to highlight my uh, sequence. I'm not going to highlight any clips. I go up to File, Export, Media. Okay, and I get my little export settings, my little render queue. And, uh, you know, you can do just match sequence settings. Um, that's going to say MPEG, or I can just say QuickTime. QuickTime is the way to go. QuickTime is a pretty universal one. If I'm going to Soundtrack Pro, it's going to work. If it's going to Audition, it's going to work. If it's going to Pro Tools, it's going to work. And that's the key one. Pro Tools is a bit more finicky about which, uh, what kind of movie file you're going to use. But it's automatically set NTSC DV24P. That's fine. That's fine. This was shot in HD, not in, you know, so, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a, you know, a dumbed down version of it. it th this will work fine. If I want to change the name, I, I can click this, change the name to something more meaningful. Exterior Widowmaker Reference movie okay choose the same spot and then i can hit oh save um uh but i've already got a reference video so i'm not going to do that reference or in this case i kind of named it guide track that's you know that's you know a more universal name for it so pretend i hit save oh all right so i saved it okay so now I should have, in this case, I'm going to my window here, and here, navigating slowly. Okay, so here I've got my OMF file. This is a different project, obviously. Let's go here. Um, Okay, so I've got my, you know, in this case, I've got my OMF, I've got my reference movie. This is a, for a different project, but OMF, reference movie, I'm ready to go. I've got everything I need. It's time to junk in, jump in, junk in, time to jump into our audio package and start uh, setting things up. Okay, so that was step one.